Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janae Mickles in case you're new. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install this wig from Wild African Hair. So in the last clip, you guys can see that the hairline looks super natural and this is HD Lace. So my hair was slicked back into a bun with Eco Styler. So that's why it's pretty dirty and flaky. I'm just using a rat tail comb to break it up and push my hair back. <laughs> And right here, I'm gonna use some of my black got to be gel. And that's just gonna make sure that my edges are out of the way and I won't cut them. And also for this wig install, I will not be using a ball cap. Honestly, it's just a hassle. And I feel like this wig looked really good without the ball cap. It still looks super natural. Little. <laughs> so this is the wig it is 20 inches and kinky straight and i'm just using a little bit of this wax stick and my high comb just to make sure the hair is slicked back <laughs> I got this hot comb from my local beauty supply store and it was about $15 and it works perfectly. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off the sideburn areas. So I left the lace in the middle on because I have to pluck the hairline in the front. Just because with my hairline, the middle part goes further back than my sideburns. So, so if I didn't do that, my forehead would be super small for me putting the wig exactly where it is right now. So I just have to kind of customize the hairline a little bit more. <laughs> For adhesive, I am using the Bold Hold Liquid Gold. It is a glueless way to lay your wig. So it's not the glue that lasts weeks at all. All you need to do is spray some warm water on this and it comes right up. So I normally don't leave it on more than a day. But all I did was do a thin layer of that on my skin and a little bit on my edges. Like I said, this is glueless. It's not going to damage your hair at all. So it's okay to get on your actual hair. I blow dried it on warm and then I just stuck it right to it. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty good. So from using this adhesive in the past, I will say this really only works well when your lace is already cut. I've tried to install a wig and then cut the lace off after using this and it just turned white. So I would suggest using this with the lace already cut off. <laughs> So right here, I'm just showing you guys how natural the hairline looks. Of course, you can still see a little bit of the glue, but we'll fix that. So I'm going to go for a metal part. This wig is 13 by 6, so you can take it back 6 inches. And what I do to make the part bigger is I just use the comb to get a little bit of hair out and just pull it and it works every time. Oh, 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 
So right now I'm going to take my matte concealer. This is in the color NC42. I'm using a small eyeshadow brush and putting that right along my part just to make it look more natural and realistic because remember I did not do the ball cap method. And right here I'm just showing you guys the length and I did cut it a little bit. So right now I'm using my Shape and Hold by Nairobi, my favorite spray ever. And then I'm using my T3 wand. I do have a promo code for that, so I'll leave it down below, 20% off. And I'm just curling away from my face. So right now I'm just running my fingers through the hair and as you guys can see it's no tangles. This is a kinky straight wig. So this wig still has a lot of texture to it even though I did curl it. I want to make sure I put all the information for this wig down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one.